Okay, the fourth example, name the measure of angle 1. So here, uh, we have a right angle. This angle, along with this angle together, form that right angle. So I want to find the measure of this angle right here. Well, I know this whole thing is 90, right? So if I take 90 and I subtract the 50, don't I get measure of angle 1, right? So I can say the measure of angle 1. Now, a shortcut for me to say that is measure of angle 1. You know, angle 1 is like that, right? But when I'm talking about the angle measure, okay, the degrees, then I could put M for measure. So this just says measure of angle 1, and I'm talking about the degree, number of degrees. So measure of angle 1 plus this is 50 degrees together, if I add them together, it becomes 90 degrees, right? So how do I solve for a measure of angle 1? I can subtract 50, so that way measure of angle 1 is 40 degrees. So this is 40 and this is 50, together they, they add up to, to, um, to 90. We know that these two angles are adjacent because they're next to each other, they share the same vertex and a side. They're also complementary, right, because they add up to 90. So this angle with this angle together are complementary angles. Here, so straight line, that means um, together, measure of angle 1 plus 83 degrees has to add up to 180 degrees. A straight line is always 180. So again, I'm going to put measure of angle 1 plus, so this angle plus this angle, 83 degrees equals the total of 180 degrees. So I'm going to subtract the 83 degrees. So measure of angle 1 is, this is 97 degrees. Um, here are these two we know um, are complementary, I'm sorry, supplementary because they add up to 180. So 90, so they're complementary. 180, so they're supplementary. These are also adjacent angles, right? They're next to each other. Same vertex, side, adjacent. Okay? So that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching Educator.com.